Thank you, Kadia Tu. If Carl Dean could make one change to improve K through 12 education in Tennessee, it would be to increase teacher pay. That was one of the many questions GHSTV had the chance to ask the Democratic candidate for governor. Anchor Raina Katko sat down with Mr. Dean at his local campaign headquarters for this exclusive interview. Mr. Dean, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with GHSTV. Thank you, it's great to be with you. I wanna start off by asking, if elected, how will your administration make education a priority? I think the main thing that a governor can do um, is protect education in terms of funding and champion the put more resources into education. You know, when I was mayor in Nashville, I ran on a platform of being supportive of education, keeping that a priority. And what I did was protect education. I had to cut almost every other part of the government, but I wouldn't cut education. And then in my second term, the city was taking off economically and was uh, feeling some prosperity. And I was able to put more money into it. So we increased the school budget actually by about 37% um, during my time as mayor. And we put about 620 million into capital programs for schools and moved starting teacher pay from 30th in the state to third. And that's what my pledge would be to do as governor, would be to protect education funding when times are tough and to try to add to education funding when times are good. Over the last decade, Tennessee has seen a lot of education reforms be successful. Would your administration continue the same path that Governor Haslam and Governor Bredesen have? Yeah, I, mean, I think both of those governors have been very, were very committed to education and did a lot to improve education in Tennessee. I mean, obviously there are many things that they have done that I would continue. For instance, Governor Haslam's work with Tennessee Promise, making community college available to everyone, and the Tennessee Reconnect, putting together people's college credits to help them graduate, are, are great programs that we should be supported. But then I would look for other ways of doing things too. Um, you know, I think right now we're at a point where we have to focus on things like teacher pay. I think we want to attract and keep the best teachers. Um, I know teachers don't do it just for the money, but I mean, clearly, if you, I think the magic really happens in the classroom. It happens when you have a teacher who can motivate students, get students excited to learn, is a master of their subjects. And to attract those people, you gotta pay them, and you gotta pay them to retain them. And I think that's, that's, that's key for us to, to take care of that. If you could make one change to improve K-8 education, what would it be and why? Oh, I think, I think it's, it was having the resources everywhere where students' needs can be addressed. I mean, I think we have different challenges in different places around the state in terms of school funding and providing the necessary supports for students who might have unique challenges or come from a background where they need additional help. And I would want to make sure that every student in Tennessee had a chance to um, succeed in school and to get ahead. Do you plan on ensuring that Tennessee's students are ready for the growing workforce and the jobs of the future? Well, I think it's a mixture of things that you do. I mean, clearly, the more, you know, we want to be a state that is producing lots of college graduates. We need to make sure that we are creating the, the necessary um, skilled tradespeople, um, and that involves investments in vocational education and partnership with businesses or unions and others to, to, to create these uh, people who have these skills. All those things we, we need to be doing. Um, it, you don't want to create these programs in a vacuum. You've got to be talking to business about what they really need. In the wake of multiple school shootings last year, the hot topic issue of arming teachers has come up, and Bill Lee is in favor of arming the teachers, and you're not. Why is that? Well, I think first it's because my sense of uh, when I speak to teachers is that they're opposed to it, that they don't see that as a, a way to provide safety to the students um, in their schools. And uh, you know, I don't think that is the, the route we should take. I think we should make the investments we need to make in resource officers who could be present to protect students, to be trained, make sure that guns are properly handled. Um, and that's key to me. I, I think we also need to invest in the safety of buildings. I was mayor when Sandy Hook happened and we did a lot uh, to move up expenditures uh, to, to make our building safer as a result of that. And that needs to happen everywhere in the state. We gotta make sure that our buildings um, are secure and then we gotta, we gotta be willing to have security officers there to protect our students. That's one of the most important things we can do. 
And finally, if elected, what would be your administration's main goal? Oh, my number one priority will be public education. I mean, there, there are other areas we have to work on, health care, um, economic opportunity, but to me, the future depends on public education. I mean, I think we've got to be a state that is producing um, more college graduates, but we also got to be producing young people who, if they choose not to go to college, can have technical or uh, vocational ed where they're going to be in a place where they can get a really good job. Uh, Tennessee is going to attract a lot of jobs, I think, and we need to have the workforce here to fill those jobs. And we want to attract really good, high-paying jobs that are going to require smart, trained people, whether it's college-educated or vocationally-educated people, to do those jobs. And so education is going to be my primary focus. Mr. Dean, thank you so much again for talking with us, and good luck with your campaign. Thank you. It's good being with you.